do you get a sense that there's genuine political will, or is it the kind of thing you can trot out at election cycle time and sound like a good guy and then go back to bed and not do a damn thing about it? I mean, what's your take on that? I get the feeling, and it's a really strong feeling, so it might be partly because we've spent two and a half years doing this and you want to believe in your own project and that your project has this great importance. But I cannot go anywhere, look at any newspaper without there being multiple articles on education. I'm even hearing kids, high school kids, college kids talk about it. There's a resurgence in an interest in teaching as a, as a legitimate career choice. So I feel like there, right now we have a moment and we've known what's been wrong since the early 80s and maybe even a little bit earlier and we have not seized on the opportunity because it's been like what david said adults arguing about all the issues so we have to seize this moment and we we have this window and we, there's an opportunity for real change and i think it's possible and in terms of political will wheel political will i i i think it's everywhere now. Right. A lot of the important elections are being decided based on what's going on in the education district and yeah, the schools. Cool. And we were both part of a little movie that I think changed the political will on, on climate change. Right. So um, we believe it's possible. Yeah. And, that, and that, that, that belief is, is everything. I mean, how do you, do you think it is uh, representative of the culture or is it only representative of this isolated institution called education? We'll, we'll look at, at DC and the example from the film with Michelle Ray. Okay. You know, incredibly bold move to close 23 schools. But now every school not only has a librarian PE, but they have an arts teacher and they have a nurse and they have all of these things. So I don't think anyone's advocating for getting rid of the arts a lot because of budget problems it's just gone away but right. I mean I, I think it's incredibly important I mean we have <laughs> being a filmmaker obviously you know so I, I think that's a big huge part of it um, a little difficult to measure I, th I think right. that you still have to measure the core subjects but these other subjects are just as important well, well, arts art I mean, let me be clear art saved me I was a terrible student mm -hmm. so those classes I think those classes are essential absolutely absolutely the, the, the the problem is, is that for a large percentage of our schools, we're not even getting the basic stuff done. Right. So a kid is going to be pushed to the system. Right. They're not even going to be able to use a computer. They're not going to have a high school diploma. Right. You know, and they're going to become this huge debt. Right. So it's not an argument between art versus reading. Right. It's about let's, let's, let's start building from a very low level up. Right. If you want to do anything in the arts, you still need to know how to communicate or you need basic math skills or why are people choosing this place to cut? It's such a vital place. And again, I mean, does that speak to the culture? I mean, that people say, oh, we cut the schools. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cut the schools. Hey, can't, I mean, you can't find something else to cut. You're going to go after the schools? I mean, what does that mean? I mean what does that tell us about us, our society, and our values? It's not, I, 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 I know what you're, I sort of came from that same place, yeah. but, but it's kind of, I look at it differently now that I've seen it. I think everybody would want arts in their local school. Um, the problem is we sort of we've all sort of given up on it. We feel like we pour money into the school, and it goes to all the wrong places. We're pouring money into a broken system. If you felt like um, your contribution to the school actually went to all these wonderful places, um, you do it. The problem is is there's this riddle. We spend more money and it doesn't seem to get better. We spend more money and we still visit a classroom. And there's no books on the shelves. So that's why we made this movie. How do you fix the broken system that's eating up all this money? All the money goes to the central office and not to the teacher. If you fix that, then the question of art or no art goes away, in my opinion. It's all about <laughs> fix the broken system. Everyone's, if you do that, everyone starts to believe again. So, you know, do, do, should I pay 100 bucks more on my taxes every year so the schools can have arts and I see it happening? Yeah, I, I want that. There's a belief now that, like, yeah, that money will just go somewhere else. And by the way, some of the, the schools highlighted in the film, and many that weren't, um, have been able, for relatively the same amount of money, have full arts programs in their schools, and they're able to do it because they have more freedom with how they're going to be able to spend their money. So there's lots and lots of schools that have proven that as possible. Yeah, I kept you here for 20 minutes. So. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you.